Hey everybody, it's Clark Barlow back here with Potential Pantry and I've got my parents behind the camera today. We were out here hunting for morels and found a couple dozen or so, but after that we've just been wandering through some absolutely gorgeous woods and stumbled across this fascinating plant, bear corn, Cornophilus americana. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, you all know I'm not big on the Latin name, so I'm going to pick a little bit of this right here, get it up there a little bit closer to the camera, and we'll talk about this. All right, so this is a fascinating plant that comes up here in the springtime in North Carolina. Apparently this is native to North America. It is considered an edible plant. The roots, sometimes roasted, can be, from what I've read, to be a bland-like turnip, so maybe not one of your favorite springtime edibles. But the tops of this are also considered a wild edible, edible being a subjective turn there. I've heard it tastes good, maybe sauteed in butter, crumbled with bacon, but at that point, what wouldn't taste good? So the big thing to this is the nutritional value of it. It's high in beta carotene, B vitamins, vitamin C, magnesium, and potassium. So really high in all of our nutrients right here. So this is what I would be interested in for this plant. So the edible part of this is going to be these small little tops up here that are almost like a fruit-like flower. We would pick these off and saute them. And I'm going to do another video following up here in the next couple of days, sauteing this. We'll taste it and let you all know how it turns out. I'll be the guinea pig, as always, with our new wild edibles. And with this, what I'd be really fascinated in is if you all would let me know, have you ever cooked with this before? Do you know of bear corn? Have you seen it out in the woods? It is a mycorrhizal plant. It's mycorrhizal the same way that mushrooms are mycorrhizal, parasitic, feeding off the roots of the host trees. In the case, beech and oak. So in this area, we see a lot of beech and oak, which is why we see this all in this area. And it does not photosynthesize, so it doesn't need sunlight to grow. So really, really fascinating plant from that standpoint. So have you ever cooked with this? Let me know in the comments. Also, like and subscribe to the channel, please. We always appreciate that. And yeah, I'd really like to know, have you guys cooked with this before? Leave it in the comments and I'd love to hear from you. Clark Barlow with Potential Pantry. Happy hunting as always. Hey everybody, just back here, a little addendum to the bear corn video. Wanted to mention that here in North Carolina where this is being filmed, bear corn is extremely plentiful. We've seen it all through the woods on our hike today but it is considered an endangered species in some parts of North America. So please just check with your regulatory authorities, park rangers, forest rangers, most online publications should be able to answer in your area, is this considered an endangered species? And please just harvest accordingly. Don't take more than you need, or if it's endangered in the area, please don't take it all. So again, Clark Barlow, Potential Pantry, Bear Corn. Very excited to be cooking with this soon.